What's up, y'all? Mitchell Renz from Chat Sports coming at you here on Seattle Seahawks News today. So, what exactly is on today's show? We got a jam packed one. I'm going to give you a week 15 preview against the Washington football team. Four keys to victory on how you beat them. The NFL playoff picture in every single game that every Seahawks fan needs to be watching and who you should be rooting for. So anytime we make these type of videos, you're going to get the opposing team to come into the YouTube channel and they try to bully you around a little bit. Let's not let that happen here. Who you got? Let me know in the comments section. I want you to type in S for the Seattle Seahawks or type W for the Washington Oh, man, I almost said it. You know what? Every single time that I say it, you know what I'm talking about, Washington, their, their name. Yeah, I want you to tell me in the comments. I'm going to take a drink after the show. All right, let's look at the Week 15 matchup. You got 9-4 and four Seattle against 6-7 and seven Washington. This is going to be a fun and interesting matchup because if the playoffs were to start today, as I am filming this on Wednesday, this would be the matchup. The number four seed at six and seven against the number five seed, Seattle. This is going to be a fun and entertaining game and one we might actually see in just a month from now. So Seahawk fans, what I want you to do, yes, I know I don't personally make a lot of videos for this YouTube channel, but I want you to know everyone here at Chat Sports has been very impressed by the amount of subscribers that we've been able to generate. This is the fastest growing YouTube channel that we have ever created and launched, and that is is a big credit to you. So first off, I want to say good job, give you a round of applause, and if you want more free videos around your Seahawks, it's simple. Click that big red button that says subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss anything. How do you turn on those notifications so you don't miss anything? Yo, I got you. Go to the settings app on your phone. So let's say after you click the bell and you want to be sent videos right to your phone like a text message, go to the settings app on your phone, scroll on down, you know what I'm talking about. Scroll on down, tap YouTube, then tap notifications, and then turn on allow notifications. I'm going to know whether or not you tapped it. All right, NFL Week 15 odds now. We got five and a half point favorites, which really, went sh sh or really should not surprise anyone. Excuse me. Total over under in this one, 44 and a half points. Me personally, I have bet the over and I've actually bet on the Seattle to be able to cover the spread. Now, if you guys want to bet on Seattle, if you want to bet on the over-under, if you want to bet on how many passing yards Russell Wilson's going to have or how many touchdowns, you can do it at our sp sportsbook partner, BetUS. How do you get started? You got to go to this link down below. You know what I'm talking about. Down below right there, chatsports.com slash bet. Then you got to use this promo code, Seahawks125. It gets you 125% deposit bonus. Now, I'll just be straight with you. My SAT scores were terrible, but this is math that I can do. You deposit $100, you get $125 for free. It's the best deal on the internet, and if you want to bet on Seattle, if you want to bet on all NFL games, seriously, do it. We got you set up. Now, I don't know, if you were looking at my shirt, maybe you saw a squirrel run across your street, that's kind of how I am, and you didn't remember anything that I just said, email us, Seahawks at chatsports.com for the details. We'll get you set up. That way you can bet on your Seahawks. That way you can bet on other NFL games because you know what, man? You put five bucks on a game, and I'm like ready to fist fight somebody over the game. It just makes it a lot more entertaining. That's what we're trying to do here. So go ahead. Put your money where your mouth is. Get your score predictions in. Seattle against the Washington football team. Almost got myself again. Seriously, go down in the comments and let me know. Reminder, the over-under 44.5 points and Seattle 5.5 point favorites. I'm going to go with the Seahawks winning this one 27-20 over the football team. So how are they going to get that dub against Washington? My four keys to victory here. This one, this might be rocket science. I know you guys are probably sitting at home like, who the heck's this douche telling me you got to protect Russell Wilson? It's important, especially against a team like Washington, because you can say what you want about their offense, which we will get to. Their defense is legit, and it's got a lot of young and kind of inspiring young players, to be honest. Here are the most sacks in 2020. Steelers, Eagles, Rams, and then right here tied for fourth, Washington. Think about the amount of times that Russell Wilson's been sacked. That's how many times Washington's got after the quarterback as well. This past week was the very first week of the entire season where Wilson wasn't sacked. It was also 
against the New York Jets. You are going to get pressured. And if Washington wants to beat Seattle, they know what they have to do. However, Russell is one of the best in the biz, if not the best in the biz. So I'm looking for bigger games out of guys like Tyler Lockett. Bigger games out of guys like DK Metcalf. But how can you also be able to protect him? Run the football a little bit. So all I'm saying is protect Russell. It's a simple science. You're going to win most games. Next thing coming up here is take care of the football. We would all agree that Seattle's the better football team, right? We, we would agree on that? Cool. Because they are. The only way Washington beats Seattle in this one is if Russell has a few turnovers, if there's a few other, and then you set up Washington with a short field. Because if there are no turnovers, they just don't have the firepower on offense to really be able to push the football up and down the field and score with the, with the Seahawks. They just don't have it. So points per game, 22.1. That's 24th best in the league. Total yards per game, 314.5. That's 30th best. Passing yards per game, 213. .3, 26 best rushing yards. And this is also, you're probably not going to have Antonio Gibson. He's been their main focal point on offense in the running game. You shut down Terry McLaurin, yeah, you should probably be okay in this one. Now, we do still have two more keys to victory, but before we do, I want you to shout out your city. Like I said before, I've been, I've been very impressed. I do a few other shows here at Chat Sports, fill in from time to time where I'm needed. But the amount of subscribers that we've been able to get here, I'm curious on where y'all are from. So for me, I grew up in central Pennsylvania, like right in the heart. If anybody knows where Danville, PA is, I'm going to be just mind blown. Closer areas, Williamsport, Bloomsburg. Right now I live in Dallas, Texas. But what I want you guys to do, go down in the comments section and shout out your city. My three, third key to victory, pressure Alex Smith. Now, not only should you always try to pressure every quarterback, but especially when the quarterback that you're going up against is battling an injury. So here's the latest on Alex. He left week 14 early with a calf strain, was not able to go back into the game. They still won it. Smith was unable to practice today on Wednesday. That's obviously big time news. Now, right now, Washington is optimistic that he is going to be able to play. However, do not anticipate him to practice at all, or, and if he does, probably just just a little bit on Friday. So the fact that the starting quarterback is not able to take reps with the starting offense, the fact that he is going to already be battling an injury, I know Seattle's biggest weakness on defense is getting after the QB. But this is a game where you need to figure it out, bear down, and get after Alex. My last key to victory here, score more than 20 points. Why am I saying score more than 20 points? And by saying that, you're like, what the heck is this guy even talking about? Of course Seattle's going to score more than 20 points. Well, if you think that's going to happen, go to BetUS and put your money where your mouth is because look at this stat. Washington is 0-7 this year. Yes, all seven of their losses have come in games where they have allowed more than 20 points. Think about that for a second. Now, sure, there's been games where they've scored more than 20 and they lost, but if the Seahawks put up more than 20, I'm going to guess they're going to win this game. So that's why ultimately I think Seattle is going to win this game. So what's coming up right now? We're going to take a deep dive into the NFL playoff picture. And at the very end of the video, I'm actually going to give you my projected playoff picture after this week. But before we do that, let's look at the NFC West standings because you got the Rams and the Seahawks, 9-4, and 9-4. and Y'all know why the Rams have the tiebreaker. I won't bring it up. The Cardinals, the 49ers, still right in the mixer. But you could be looking at three teams that could get into the playoffs and three teams that honestly I do think that get into the playoffs. But let's first look at Seattle's remaining schedule. You should be able to take care of business against Washington. I'm a believer you're going to be able to take care of business against the 49ers. It's really going to come down to this Week 16 game, whether or not who wins this division. But how about the Rams? I mean, they got a real easy game. If they lose to the Jets, y'all, it's going to be wild. And then Week 16 against Seattle. And then they got to go up against the Cardinals, a team that they beat not too long ago, I believe 38-23. to So, again, it's going to come down to that Week 16 game. But how about Arizona? Do they maybe have a chance to just spoil everyone's fun and take the crown? I mean, these are three winnable games. Again, if they win out here, they at least do have a shot to win the NFC West. Do I think it's going to happen? No, not really. I ultimately believe it's going to be between Seattle and it's going to be between Los Angeles. But you know what? 
I think I might have actually set this goal a little bit too low. So I'm going to switch up my rules here. 1,000 likes. The last time I saw a Seahawks video get 1,000 likes has been a month. So if you think that Seattle is going to win the NFC West, you see 500 on here, no Seahawks fan wants to go 500. Let's get to 1,000. If you think that the Seahawks are going to win the NFC West, go ahead and like this video. Let's look at the playoff picture. The Packers, they're the new number one seed after picking up a win. And after a Saints loss, number three Rams. As I said before, this could be a future playoff game. Seahawks against Washington, the Bucks, and the Cardinals. So what I'm going to do now is this. Because guess what? There is actually a realistic chance that Seattle can still get that number one seed. How does it happen? The teams ahead of them need to lose some games. So the Packers, Panthers, Titans, Bears. I'll tell you what, this Titans game very easily losable and anytime you play an in-division rival with the defense like the Bears it's possible all I'm saying just keep the Packers on your radar how about the Saints I'll tell you what I think whoever wins the NFC West I'm saying it right now they're going to jump New Orleans now Drew Brees did get cleared to practice today like literally as I am filming this video I looked over to my left and yes he got the okay they're gonna lose to the Chiefs for some reason, at the end of the year, they always seem that they struggle with the Vikings. Yes, I understand it's not the playoffs yet, but I could easily see them losing two games, especially if Drew Brees isn't healthy. How about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Do you have to be worried about them? Yes, you do. So right now, only one game behind Seattle, but these are three very, very winnable games. And in fact, I think they win out. I think they go 11-5. and five. But what I want you all to do right now, because here what we do in chat sports, shows are fun, but... Shows aren't fun when you're the only guy talking, and I do hope you guys participate in the comments below. Who's going to be the number one seed in the NFC? If you think it's going to be the Green Bay Packers, I want you to type GB. Maybe it's going to be the New Orleans Saints, type NO. Could it be your Seahawks, type SCA? If you think it's going to be a totally different team, hey, just comment them below. So before I leave you, I am going to give you my Week 15 games that every Seahawk fan needs to watch. Panthers at Packers. Buccaneers at Falcons. Rams at Jets, Chiefs at Saints, Eagles at Cardinals. Reminder, you should all go bet on these games. You should all go ahead and do it at BetUS. How do you do it? Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code Seahawks125. I'm going to get it in the brain of yours. So who are the teams you need to be rooting for this week? Panthers over the Packers. Falcons over the Bucks. Jets over the Rams. There's the sad, sad violin for Jets over the Rams. Chiefs over the Saints. Eagles over the Cardinals. Obviously, the most realistic ones are the bottom two, at least in my opinion. But don't be surprised if the Falcons pull out a squeaker. This one would be absolutely insane. So here's my projected NFC playoff picture after this week. I still believe the Green Bay Packers at number one. I have the Saints losing, dropping down to 10-4. and four. They hold the tiebreaker over L.A. simply due to conference record. Or actually, that's false. Their conference record's the same. It then falls down to division record. Then Washington, 6-8. and eight. The Seahawks, 10-4. and four. Bucks, 9-5. and five. Arizona at 8-6. and six. So the reason why y'all clicked on this video is because of the Week 15 matchup, which, again, this really could be a futuristic playoff game. Seattle just needs to go in, take care of business, to come away with a win. So one more time, who you got? Maybe you're tuning in a little bit later. It's all good. We got you covered here. I want you to type S for the Seahawks. Type W for Washington. Go down in the comments section and let me know. If you made it this far in the video, we're still trying to get more subs on this channel. More subs equals more videos. And if you're already subbed and you're like, Mitch, I get it. I know it. It's okay. Take the link that you see below, youtube.com slash Seahawks TV, and send it to the 10 biggest Seahawks fans that you know.